Carl Gerasi October 29, 1923 to January 30, 2015, was an Austrian-born Bulgarian-American chemist, novelist, playwright, and co-founder of Gerasi Resident Artists Program with Diane Wood Middlebrook. He is best known for his contribution to the development of oral contraceptive pills, nicknamed the Father of the Pill. Topic: Early Life. Karl Gerasi was born in Vienna, Austria, but spent the first years of his infancy in Sofia, Bulgaria, the home of his father, Samuel Gerasi, a dermatologist and specialist in sexually transmitted diseases. His mother was Alice Friedman, a Viennese dentist and physician. Both parents were Jewish. Following his parents' divorce, Gerasi and his mother moved to Vienna. Until the age of 14, he attended the same real gymnasium that Sigmund Freud had attended many years earlier. He spent summers in Bulgaria with his father. Austria refused him citizenship, and after the Anschluss, his father briefly remarried his mother in 1938 to allow Karl and his mother to escape the Nazi regime and flee to Sofia, Bulgaria, where he lived with his father for a year. Bulgaria, although not immune to antisemitism, proved a safe haven, as the country managed to save its entire 48,000-strong Jewish population from deportation to Nazi concentration camps. During his time in Sofia, Gerasi attended the American College of Sofia where he became fluent in English. In December 1939, Gerasi arrived with his mother in the United States, nearly penniless. Gerasi's mother worked in a group practice in upstate New York. In 1949, his father emigrated to the United States, practiced in Pennsylvania and West Virginia, and eventually retired near his son in San Francisco. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Education. Jurasi started his college career at Newark Junior College, briefly attended Tarkio College, and then studied chemistry at Kenyon College, where he graduated summa cum laude. After one year at SEBA, he moved to the University of Wisconsin-Madison where he earned his Ph.D. in organic chemistry in 1945. His thesis work examined the transformation of the male sex hormone testosterone into the female sex hormone estradiol, through a sequence of chemical reactions. <laughs> <laughs> Career In 1942–43, Gerasi worked for SIBA in New Jersey, developing pyribenzamine tripolenamine, his first patent and one of the first commercial antihistamines. In 1949 Gerasi became associate director of research at Syntex in Mexico City and remained there through 1951. He has said that one factor influencing him to choose Syntex was that they had a due spectrophotometer. He worked on a new synthesis of cortisone based on diosgenin, a steroid sapogenin derived from a Mexican wild yam. His team later synthesized norethisterone the first highly active progestin analog that was effective when taken by mouth. This became part of one of the first successful combined oral contraceptive pills, known colloquially as the birth control pill, or simply, the pill. From 1952 to 1959, he was professor of chemistry at Wayne State University in Detroit. Gerasi participated in the invention in 1951, together with Mexican Luis E. Miramontes and Hungarian Mexican George Rosencrantz, of the progestin norethisterone which, unlike progesterone, remained effective when taken orally and was far stronger than the naturally occurring hormone. His preparation was first administered as an oral contraceptive to animals by Gregory Goodwin Pincus and Min Chua Chong and to women by John Rock. In 1957, he became vice president of research at Syntex in Mexico City while on leave of absence from Wayne State. In 1960 Gerasi became a professor of chemistry at Stanford University, a position he held until 2002 but only part-time as he never left industry. From 1968 until 1972 he also served as president of Syntex Research at Palo Alto. The Syntex connection brought wealth to Jurassi. He bought a large tract of land in Woodside, California, and started a cattle ranch called SMIP, initially an acronym for Syntex Made It Possible. Other variants have been suggested since. He also assembled a large art collection. His collection of works by Paul Clay was considered to be one of the most significant to be privately held. 
He arranged for his clay collections to be donated to the Albertina in Vienna and the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art, effective on his death. Throughout the 1960s and 1970s, Gerasi continued to do significant scientific work, as a professor in the Department of Chemistry at Stanford University, and as an entrepreneur. He pioneered novel physical research techniques for mass spectrometry and optical rotatory dispersion and applied them to the areas of organic chemistry and the life sciences. Focusing on the steroid hormones and alkaloids, he elucidated the structure of steroids, an area in which he published over 1,200 papers. His scientific interests were wide-ranging, and his technological achievements include work in instrumentation, pharmaceuticals, insect control, the application of artificial intelligence in biomedical research, and the biology and chemistry of marine organisms. In 1968, he started a new company, Zoekin, which focused on environmentally soft methods of pest control, using modified insect growth hormones to stop insects from metamorphosing from the larval stage to the pupal and adult stages. Zoekin was eventually acquired by Occidental Petroleum, which later sold it to Sandoz. Now Novartis, part of Zoekin survives in Dallas, Texas, making products to control fleas and other pests. In 1965 at Stanford University, Nobel laureate Joshua Lederberg, computer scientist Edward Feigenbaum, and Jurassi devised the computer program DENDRAL dendritic algorithm for the elucidation of the molecular structure of unknown organic compounds taken from known groups of such compounds, such as the alkaloids and the steroids. This was a prototype for expert systems and one of the first uses of artificial intelligence in biomedical research. Jurassi was a member of the board of sponsors of the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists and was chairman of the Pharmanex Scientific Advisory Board. Topic: <laughs> Publications. Jurassi published widely as a novelist, playwright and scientist. In 1985, Jurassi said I feel like I'd like to lead one more life. I'd like to leave a cultural imprint on society rather than just a technological benefit." He went on to write several novels in the "...science in fiction." genre, including Cantor's Dilemma, in which he explored the ethics of modern scientific research through his protagonist, Dr. Cantor. He also wrote four autobiographies, the most recent of which, in retrospect appeared in 2014. He wrote a number of plays which have been performed and extensively translated. His book Chemistry in Theater, Insufficiency, Fallacy or Both discusses the potential pedagogic value of using dialogic style and the plot structure of plays with special focus on chemistry. Topic. Science in fiction Jurassi wrote five novels, four of which he describes as science in fiction, fiction which portrays the lives of real scientists, with all their accomplishments, conflicts, and aspirations. The genre is also referred to as lab lit. In his first two novels, Cantor's Dilemma and Bourbaki Gambit, he shows how scientists work and think. In Cantor's Dilemma, there is the suspicion of scientific fraud, in Bourbaki Gambit, the question of personal achievement stands in the center. In the third, Menachem's Seed, ICSI and the Pugwash Organization are the main themes. In the last, No, he shows how young scientists develop an idea as far as founding a company to market a product, something Jurassi himself did in the field of insecticides. The topic of the fifth novel, Mark's Deceased, is the role of a writer's earlier bestsellers for the assessment of a new work, in contrast to the assessment of an anonymous work or one of a formerly unknown author. He plays with this topic also in Bourbaki Gambit. Topic. Science in theater After his success with prose literature in the science in fiction genre, Carl Gerasi started to write plays. Theater, even more so than prose, seems to fulfill his desire to work in a more dialogical environment than the monological natural sciences had allowed him to do. According to British director Andy Jordan, who has produced all of his plays in England, Jurassic's dramatic works are not wholly or straightforwardly naturalistic or realistic, dot but avowedly text-driven, where ideas, themes, words and language were majorly important, a fact I had always to be conscious of as the director. Jurassic's first play, An Immaculate Misconception, 1998, dealing with the in vitro fertilization procedure ICSI, was followed by two plays about priority struggles in the history of science, Oxygen, 
co-authored with Roald Hoffman, 1999, and Calculus, 2002, and a drama at the intersection of chemistry and art history, Fallacy, 2004. Ego 2003, also produced under the title Three on a Couch, together with the docudrama Four Jews on Parnassus 2006, P.U.B.L. 2008 and Foreplay 2010, are the only three dramatic pieces which do not deal with science in literature but rather carry the notion of intellectual competitiveness into literature, philosophy and the humanities. Taboos 2006, a complex play between reproductive, gender and political issues, returns to Jurassic's central concerns as a scientist. His 2012 play Insufficiency is a bitter satire of both the scientific community and academic environments. As in his novels, Jurassic's plays incorporate the life and achievements of sometimes famous scientists as well as new scientific technologies. The science in his plays is always scientifically plausible, although the dramatic personae and locations are fictitious. By placing scientists and research into dramatic worlds, he raises critical questions about the sciences as cultural systems and looks into internal conflicts and contradictions in science and between scientists. The constant competition between them, the need for priority in new scientific discoveries even if the required speed necessitates risky and immoral means, as well as the problematic consequences of new discoveries are important topics of the plays. Connected with many of these questions is the role of women in the sciences including researchers' wives and female friends. Jurassic's plays recognize the special contributions women make as scientists and to science, both directly and indirectly. His female characters are usually depicted as strong and independent, proving a strong impact of feminist thinking on his work. Jurassic's plays have found their way into theaters around the globe and have been translated into a large number of European and Asian languages. Jurassic repeatedly revised his plays and some of them have different versions and multiple endings especially an immaculate misconception the nationalities of the main characters vary also the endings where possible Carl Jurassic also cooperated with directors in the production of dramatic performances all of his plays have been published in book form many of them in a number of languages some of them can be downloaded from his website Topic poetry Jurassi wrote numerous poems that were published in journals or anthologies. Some of the poems reflected his life as a chemist e.g. Why are chemists not poets or the clock runs backwards, others his personal life e.g. A diary of peak. Topic nonfiction optical rotatory dispersion, McGraw-Hill and Company, 1960. The politics of contraception steroids made it possible the pill, pygmy chimps, and degas horse from the lab into the world, a pill for people, pets, and bugs Paul Clay, masterpieces of the Jurassi collection Dalla Pillola a la Pena This Man's Pill, reflections on the 50th birthday of the pill in retrospect, from the pill to the pen topic fiction Cantor's Dilemma The Bourbaki Gambit The Futurist and Other Story Show I Beat Coca-Cola and Other Tales of One Upmanship Marks, Deceased. A Novel Menachem's Seed. A novel Manaham seed no. A novel no topic drama chemistry in theater, insufficiency, fallacy or both foreplay, Hannah Arendt, The Two Adornos, and Walter Benjamin Four Jews on Parnassus and Immaculate Misconception, Sex in an Age of Mechanical Reproductional, A. Theater Works Oxygen with Roald Hoffman, co-author Newton's Darkness, Two Dramatic Views Sex in an Age of Technological Reproduction, ICSI and Taboos Topic Awards and Honors Jurassi won numerous awards during his career including, Ernest Gunther Award of the American Chemical Society 1969, Scheele Award 1972, National Medal of Science President of the United States of America, 1973 for his work on the contraceptive pill, the award was somewhat ironic in that his name at the time was on the infamous Nixon's Enemies list, which was compiled by Charles Colson and Richard Nixon. He learned this from an article in the San Francisco Examiner. Several months later, Perkin Medal 1975 inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame 1978 first recipient of the Wolf Prize, 1978 National Medal of Technology President of the United States of America, 1991 for his broad technological contributions to solving environmental problems, and for his initiatives in developing novel, practical approaches to insect control products that are biodegradable and harmless Academy 
Academy of Achievement Golden Plate Award 1980 Priestley Medal American Chemical Society 1992 Willard Gibbs Award Chicago Section of the American Chemical Society 1997 Austrian Cross of Honor for Science and Art First Class 1999 Othmer Gold Medal 2000 Prize of the German Chemical Society for Writers 2001 Grand Gold Medal for Services to the Province of Lower Austria 2002 Gold Medal of the Capital Vienna 2002 Grand Cross of the Order of Merit of the Federal Republic of Germany 2003 Erasmus Medal of the Academia Europaea 2003 American Institute of Chemists Gold Medal 2004 Lichtenberg Medal of the Göttingen Academy of Sciences 2005 Premio Letterario Serrano in Rome 2005 An Austrian postage stamp with Jurassic's portrait issued to mark his 80th birthday 2005 The Austrian government also sent him a new Austrian passport Grand Decoration of Honor in Silver for Services to the Republic of Austria 2008. Honorary Doctorate from the Faculty of Humanities of the Technical University of Dortmund for his literary work as 21 Honorary Doctorate 2009. Alacrin Prize 2009, Vigo, Spain Foreign Member of the Royal Society 2010. Edinburgh Medal 2011. Honorary Doctorate from the Faculty of Chemistry and Geosciences, Heidelberg University 2011. Honorary Doctorate from the Porto University 2011. Honorary Doctorate from the University of Vienna 2012. Honorary Doctorate from the Medical University of Vienna 2012. Honorary Doctorate from the University of Applied Arts, Vienna 2013. Honorary Doctorate from the Sigmund Freud University, Vienna 2013. Honorary Doctorate from the American University in Bulgaria 2013 Honorary Doctorate from the University of Innsbruck 2014 Jurassic Glacier on Brabant Island in Antarctica is named after Carl Jurassic an award that eluded Jurassic was the Nobel Prize where he is considered one of the more notable snubs by the Nobel Committee Topic <laughs> Personal Life Jurassi was married three times. He and Virginia Jeremiah were married in 1943 and divorced in 1950. Jurassi married Norma Lundholm later that year. They had two children, and were divorced in 1976. In 1977, Jurassi began a relationship with best selling biographer and Stanford University professor of English Diane Middlebrook, and in 1985 they were married. In 2002, she became Professor Emerita to work full time as a biographer. In that same year, Jurassi also became Professor Emeritus. They divided their time between homes in San Francisco and in London their life there recalled by a friend, until her death on 15 December 2007. On July 5, 1978, Jurassi's artist daughter Pamela, from his second marriage, to Norma Lundholm, committed suicide, which is described in his autobiography. With Middlebrook's help, Jurassi then considered how he could help living artists, rather than collecting works of dead ones. He visited existing artist colonies, such as Yaddo and McDowell, and decided to create his own, the Jurassic Resident Artists Program. He closed his cattle ranch and converted the barn and houses to residential and work space for artists. He and his wife moved to a high-rise in San Francisco that they had renovated. Jurassic's son Dale also with Norma Lundholm is a documentary filmmaker and private investor. Jurassic described himself as a Jewish atheist. Jurassi died on January 30, 2015, at the age of 91 from complications of liver and bone cancer. References External links Personal website Biography Center for Oral History Carl Jurassi. Science History Institute Sturcio, Jeffrey L. Thackeray, Arnold, the 31st of July 1985. Carl Jurassi, transcript of an interview conducted by Jeffrey L. Sturcio and Arnold Thackeray at Stanford University on the 31st of July 1985. PDF. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania: Center for History of Chemistry. Carl Jurassi tells his life story at Web of Stories. Jurassi Resident Artists Program. Jurassic's autograph from the chemical record Bob Weintraub, Israel Chemical Society
Pincus, Gerasi, and oral contraceptives. <laughs> 